good morning, good afternoon, maybe good night, depending on the country you are connected. So this is uh, Samuel, Samuel Munoz. I'm project manager in Sikiteco, Sikiteco Europe in my case. I, and also I'm product manager or different kind of lines of products in Sikiteco, such as uh, LPR, and other ones like biometrics, and thermal devices. So meanwhile, meanwhile, every people are trying to, to connect. So first of all, you can see it's our main screen, and it's our our brochure is uh, how how we publish the LPR solution. Okay, so in one minute, I think we can start because I think I think that all that all the attendees are coming and joining. So so let's start. So. This is a presentation as I, as I called you. So we split this, this presentation in two seasons. So one season is, let's say, the, the basic season. So in this, bit, in this basic season, uh, alone today, because this is the English version, and this afternoon at uh, three o'clock in Spanish hours is the, the Spanish version. This version, let's say, is to, to present the product for you, and, and also to show you how how to deal with basic uh, installations. So as I told you, this is this is the, the first uh, the first season the the, the the first season of LPR. So in this season, you can see how the LPR solution embedded solution uh, works. Because uh, I show you later after we finish the presentation based on the PPT, uh, I show you how the the real installation works. You, this uh, help you to you to to figure out to to notice how this, this uh, the solution and the system works. So why we decide to implement a solution based on uh, embedded system? Okay, because till now there are so many players in the market based on the LPR uh, with the engine LPR engine with the motor with the algorithm is based on the server the client server. So for us, we decide to move this way and to choose for a solution based on the uh, CCTV camera. So means taking the advantage of the powerful camera, we decide to implement the engine, to implement the solution, the algorithm, LPR algorithm inside the camera. So this is the, the first, this is the first uh, difference from the standard LPR system you can find in the, in the market. So it's a embedded solution, plug and play. It means once you get a camera, you can install in the place you want to read the, the plates and let's start. You don't need to deploy any, any software in the server side. You just configure the solution in the web server of the camera and you can start to read, uh, the, to read the place and to catch the place. So this is why it's an embedded solution, plug and play, and also master of life master slave solution. Uh, later, I, I will explain you why I decide to implement master slave solution, because this is the way to link several cameras in the same installation, okay? One is the one is the master solution, one is the master camera, all of them for sure has the uh, LPR engine inside the, in, in the camera, but master slave solution, uh, master and slave uh, connection, uh, master and slave topology is the way they can share the, the plates, okay? So this is the content of the presentation. This is the, the first point will be the product presentation. The second is the advantage and the feature. Uh, the second, the third one is the scenarios and marketing. And the fourth one is the uh, active countries. For sure, there are there is a new five one. For me, it's the, the real time connection to the camera to show you how the system works. So, for this presentation, okay, let's start. So, in, in this uh, in this slide, uh, I want to show you what is the definition of this system. Okay, this is an easy and clever uh, solution on board LPR because, uh, as I told you before, this is embedded solution. So, all the intelligence, all the engine is inside the camera. 
as a standalone for sure, because you, you don't need to, to deploy the solution in a server side. And master slave. This is the way that the, the camera connects. When you have uh, different cameras in installation, they can connect to each other to share the information to each other. And for sure, this is the plug, the um, um, plug and play. So, Cicitico LPR ID, this is the way we, we call this, this solution. This is a high performance embedded solution because the algorithm uh, is an algorithm around 98% 98 of uh, rate. So, it means the accuracy of the every plate you can read is more than uh, 98. So, for sure, this is depending on the country. But most of the country we, we support is uh, uh, many, many, many countries worldwide. Then you can see the accuracy of your of your country is so good. Uh, we assure more than 90, 95 uh, percent of the accuracy. And and also we call this like a new step in security access control system uh, because it's a it's a very efficient and simple solution. This is a very efficient and simple solution to get the to get the to get the plate, to get the plate of the of the, of the car, and, and also open the barrier. But this is the easiest way. This is the, the, the only the easy way to, you can do with the camera. But for sure, there are so many features, as I showed you later, that you can configure, then you can play in the camera. So this is why um, I want you to join for the for the deep um, for the deep, deep knowledge based on the integration side in uh, on Wesley. And for sure, this is uh, this is the embedded solution, plug and play. But we are dealing, uh, we are uh, developing the integration with Cicitico Biosecurity. So this is this will be the next step, the next stage. We are we are running the development right now. So I love this summer. Uh, when the summer ends, uh, we want to launch the integration with Cicitico Biosecurity in the parking module. So means. Uh, you can have um, all the power of the LPR recognition camera, but also you can, on the other hand, based on the server side, you has uh, you can you can uh, you has all the logic based on the parking model. So this will be a very nice combination. So we choose. You can see here which model or ticket camera we choose. Uh, to implement the LPR uh, engine, so one is the one one model is based on the bullet one, and the other one is in dome one. So depending depending on the on the needs of the customer needs, depending on the installation, maybe you can you can go better with the bullet one uh, or or the dome one. So if you want to fix uh, an installation forever, you can set the configuration and you can adjust the length in the dome one. Um, maybe this installation will be forever. And if you want to move to the bullet one, it's, it's also fantastic okay? because many customers prefer bullet than the, the dome one. So you can choose. There are so two different models that the system is implementing. So here you can find you can find a, a little description. So as I told you before, the idea is to build a solution very easy for the installation, very very easy for the customer, or very easy for the end user. So this is why we decided to use a plug and play solution, travel free. We don't we don't the customer need to deal with the hard installation, with the server installation in order to catch the, the plate. So our our scope, our goal is is, is all is different from that. So this is why we 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 decide to choose a, a plug and play style solution. So as I told you before, you don't need to to install the solution to install the the engine in, in a third party server. So this is uh, the OCR is embedded in the in the camera. So the idea is, in the basic installation, you can open directly your barrier from the camera because the camera, this kind of camera, uh, has a relay to open the barrier. Uh, for sure, the camera in in the web server uh, software, you can find uh, different type of lips of, of lists where you can store the, the the place you want to read. For example, black list and white list and, and other you want to customize. So in order to split uh, and separate different type of users, 
and different type of actions to do to want to do you want to do with the with the place after being received so what about the system the system uh, can catch the, the plate around 20 kilometers per hour up to 20 per hour and the distance that the system can read the place is around 15 meters so we are we are supporting many many different type of um, alphabets such as uh, or, you know, uh, Ocean 1, Arabic, Thai, Cyrillic, and all. Because the solution is based on the web server, we decide to implement a very uh, friendly uh, UI. So later you can see how the, the UI, uh, uh, how the how easy it is to manage to handle all the feature in the in the web server. So at the end, uh, our idea is to eliminate the time that the installation need to uh, deploy this kind of solution because our solution takes around 20 minutes to 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 be installed so related the the place you need to to install the camera so this is important for sure this is uh, at the end you are reading an external an external uh, item this is a car so you need to install well the camera so this is a recommendation we will provide you. So install the camera around 20, 20 degrees, maximum 25. And also not only in the height, but also in the side. And related to the to the angle in the in the plate, uh, the algorithm is uh, well enough uh, to read the numbers and the plate at 225 degrees. So you imagine imagine in the car the the plate the license plate was moved uh, uh, from the from the first time that the installer installed the plate so we can read the plate also. So what about the topology of the LPR topology? So this is why this is was uh, this is what I want to. What I explained to you before. So our topology is master slave. So it means you 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 can find a, a master slave camera, um, a master camera that communicates with the slave ones. Okay. So at the end, all the cameras are the same, but they are sharing the information to each other. So the idea is if you if you create different license different lists. Of place in the master camera, then the slave camera receives the same information. You, know, you, you don't need to replicate in the slave camera the same information you already done in the master camera. Okay, so if you have a uh, ten cards in the master camera store, then after connection between the master from the uh, the, must, the slave camera to the master camera, then information will be shared from the master to the slave. So what about the the features? <clears throat> so for sure, this uh, this will be very fast because I want to show you in real time in, in our application. So we have the main, the live view in the LPR the, where where you can see the the real time of the camera. But consider the real time of the camera is around four to five uh, frames per second. But this is enough for the LPR recognition. Then you can see the camera catch it. And you can see the result that they already provide. And also there are other, other features you can see, like a ROI. <clears throat> ROI means the, the area where the algorithm is reading the plate. And calibration pattern, this is a very useful solution in order <clears throat> that they still the stiller uh, realize how big is the is the, is the lesson place related to the screen. Okay, if we can move to the, to the historical sub menu, <clears throat> you can see all the, the all the plays that the algorithm catch. So you can select, you can find for the for every camera you want. You can you can search or show by date. And you all, you can see also the, the accuracy of the camera, the country, and a little 
a little uh, image. <coughs> this is, if we can move to the list menu, submenu, so you can see here, let's say the core of the application, okay? In this um, submenu, you can you can select which uh, list you want to, to use. In every use, you can create or you can load the license place you want to be to be catch. After catch, you, you can select the options you want to do after the, the license plate wash catch. So just only open a barrier. Uh, you can send the license plate by third PR by third solution by HTTP connection, server server socket. You also can connect with the milestone solution in order to send to the milestone the license plate. Also by vegan to the third party solution like controller or by email. Okay. For this, especially for this screen, for this slide, uh, on the on Wednesday, I will explain all the possibilities uh, deeply in the season of the on Wednesday. Especially for integrators, they that they, they want to to connect this solution with the server or third party solution. Okay, for sure there is a sub menu for setup the camera. <clears throat> in fact, it's for to set up the, the algorithm because in, in this one you can select the region you want to read the plates. So in this case, you can see it selected the Euro one, and you can add as many countries as you want you want to read. For example, in this case, we add three countries: Spain, France, and and Portugal. And the recommend, our recommendation is uh, to use around up to five countries. Then you, you can select if you want to, to trigger uh, <clears throat> the auxiliary input because the system works like a free flow mode. It means free flow mode is like a camera is catching, is reading all the time. If you use, for example, trigger, it means the camera just only read, just only cast the camera once uh, the camera receives uh, an external ex external activation, external uh, trigger by the auxiliary input. And based on motion sensor means the camera is reading just only based on the motion uh, detection sensor the camera that the camera has. Evidence camera. <clears throat> means uh, you can connect other types of cameras different from LPR, just only uh, st standard cameras that catch uh, evidence. Once it means, for example, imagine the situation, you install the LPR camera on the entrance and you can install other different cameras, standard CCTV, in order to catch at the same time that the LPR catch the license plate, you can you can catch other different um, Features of the car in order to have the all information related to the car, not only the LPR, but also uh, how the car how the car is entering at that moment. This is also the advantage uh, feature you can you can select. So this is uh, all this feature will be all will be explained in the. In the next season on Wednesday, because this is very important in order uh, to set how is the, the information stored in the camera. So the camera is also uh, the camera is also include a 64 gigabytes um, SD card in order to save all the all the image that the camera catch. Okay, but the way that the camera is stored in the camera, this is uh, this is the way. So this is the rule you need to to apply in order to save correctly and how long and how many pictures you want to store in the database in the camera. So talking about the, the scenario, there are so many of okay. And you can see the on the right the garage. Okay, the garage in order to check the 
your the status the status of the car. This is the motor vehicle station uh, station. So on this, you can deploy an LPR solution in, in in every line and also evidence camera in order to catch how the how is the status of the car. So another nice solution will be in the hotel parking system because in this consider in, in this solution maybe the customer. Uh, doesn't have a very powerful server if we deploy an, uh, an LPR solution based on server, but for sure they already has a very fantastic database of the of the person of the guests they want to to join to the to the hotel. So they they can share the license place to the database to the LPR solution very fast. Okay, this is. This is something I, I want to explain to you on the, on the next season on Wednesday. How to transfer uh, a database of the or the license plate you already has to the camera. Okay. So another feature you want to implement is the let's say a kind of integration with uh, miles, milestone. Consider that if the customer and customer has a BMS based on milestone, camera can connect with this system in order to send back to the server. The, the camera and the tennis stand. Another a nice solution will be the integration with the parking system, okay, in order to control the traffic in the uh, the parking, in order to control the parking in the in the road. And for sure, the the kind of a different kind of a, a private or public uh, parking. So the idea is. Uh, to implement this solution in the residential area and condominiums, for sure in the gas station, would be a very nice, fantastic uh, solution. The parking, parking, parking lots, and just shopping center, hospital, airports. Okay, because the the good thing of this solution is the algorithm is testing for the 5,000 license plates with no with no problems. So imagine you can store how at two <clears throat> five thousand uh, cars. <clears throat> Talking about the, the countries that we uh, that we support, so we support so many so many countries for the Europe. We support almost all the Europe countries, all the European countries. <clears throat> uh, South America. All the Latin countries, for sure. North, North America, uh, Canada, all the states in, the, in USA, in Asia, we support so many countries. In in Africa, you know, in Africa we are we are implementing day, day by day uh, many different countries, but until now we have all of this. But for sure, we can implement, and, and also Australia. But for sure, we can implement uh, <clears throat> more countries according to the customer needs. Imagine you have a partner, a very powerful country a partner in a country that that uh, right now we don't have the country right now. So the idea is to uh, to integrate this uh, this alphabet because we call a country like an, an alphabet. So we can do it. So we need to install uh, we need to install a camera on the country for a time in order to catch as many <clears throat> as many pictures as many uh, places as the algorithm can during a one week, for example. Then we we implement the algorithm or alphabet for this country. Okay, but this is the the finish of the presentation. But for sure, uh, after this. The one minute we, we will start the the real time the real time demonstration. If you have any question related to this, you can drop an email to the our our emails. So project at cikitico.eu or someone dot at cikitico.eu. So let's move to the real time demonstration. Let me check if there is any co any comment in the. Let me see if there is any comment here. Mm. 
Okay, so before to move to the real time presentation, oh no, let's let me let me let me show you here. Uh, hello, hello. So yes, yes, okay. Sound is very low. Sorry. <clears throat> so let me. Mm -hmm. So what about now? I think the loud is, is better right now, sorry. Okay, uh, do you support eight digit plates? So Amir, the idea is not uh, how many digits we support, the idea is which country is uh, belongs to this, country, this, this plate, okay? So guys, okay. What is the license car capacity of PR camera? How many vehicles uh, can I add? So as I told you, uh, we support 5,000 cars, okay? So we support more, in fact, but our testing, so where uh, to provide a nice figure that we are confident that the result is good is up to 5,000 cars, okay? Uh, when is planning to connect by with uh, CQ security? So along this summer, uh, we are deploying the solution. Okay, we, we are now uh, dealing the implementation. So after fin after after finish after finish this this summer, uh, we want to to launch the first version connected to the CQ security parking module. Okay, would I get the video after the webinar? My technical team, absolutely. We are recording the we are recording the presentation. So later I will provide this uh, video to the global marketing team in order to be split and to be shared with other. Absolutely. Let me close. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me close. Okay, my email. Okay. So any questions? Uh, Thanks, uh, Samuel. Uh, I would like to ask you how many slave cameras can be connected to master cameras. In fact, there is no limit. Okay, there is no limit because it's not a real-time connection. Okay, later I want to explain to you how the how is the connection between the master slave and master uh, and slave. In fact, uh, the LPR solution has a F F F T P F T P server in Bebet. So there is a connection between the slave to the master slave to the master. So there is no any consuming from master to the slave because this must is a slave who is who is uh, uh, retrieving information from the master. So there is no limit in, on this, okay? Because there is no consuming the master information. There is no consuming any performance from the master to to retrieve all the license plates from the master to the slave. Uh, so is it mandatory to use uh, slave cameras? Uh, no, it's not uh, mandatory. You can use only one camera, master one. So is it possible for us to synchronize the own camera database with external one? Uh, is it possible for us to synchronize the own camera database uh, with external one? I don't know what you mean scan with external one, but if you are related to the slave one's cameras, yes. You can select uh, every minute you want to be synchronized uh, the, the slaves from the master one. Okay, so from now, I can see any other question. So let's move to the real demonstration. And after that, we will see all the messages. So in our country, so this is a question that um, Soma. In our country, we got different colors of number plates that become difficult to read at the current system. Does your system capture text from different numbers? The quest, uh, this is a very um, well-known problem with the LPR solution, okay? The, the, ref, the reflection of the, of the place because in many countries uh, in many countries there are different types of cameras especially the color the back color of the, or the license plate so I need to to make a try okay because we support many countries with different back color of the, of the license plate 
So the the first answer will be yes, we support we support this, but for sure there is another factor, important factor is the reflection of the of the card plate. So we can make a try. If you don't mind, we can drop a a message and we can connect in order to you to to share uh, samples uh, samples plates in order to make a try. If you don't mind. With uh, a scan with third-party database, yes, it's possible. So uh, for this kind of deadly question, I prefer. So I, I won't explain right now very fast, because but for third-party connection, third-party integration, I prefer you to, to join to the Wednesday season, because then I will explain how the that third-party uh, database can connect with our camera based on FTP FTP server. Okay. Uh, Ariane, Brian, please kindly explain to me a scenario where I need, where I will need to use slave cameras alongside the main camera. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Imagine the situation in a big, in a big parking. Okay. In a big parking, you can with different entrance, with different. So the idea is in in any in any installation, you have different uh, doors, different entrance. So in this in this installation, I recommend you to install slave cameras, okay? Because you can you cannot control with only master camera uh, all the entrance. So if you have different entrance, you you have different points to be controlled. Uh, this is uh, where I recommend you to to install slave cameras synchronized with the master camera, okay? Okay. So, there is no any more questions okay thanks okay welcome so okay so talking about the real-time demonstration okay you can see here the web server of the Cicitico camera CCTV camera so this is where we implement the LPR engine uh, so when you install the camera you you can select the, the IP by default there's uh, one the IP by default is 198.162.1.86 by default. But if you deploy the camera like us in a public server, we uh, we map in the L, uh, the IP with a public uh, DNS. So this is why our ULR ULR or DNS is lpr.sicticot.ue. So you can connect freely this in order to make a try. And the password credential is uh, admin, and uh, the password is one two eight. Okay. So let me let me connect in English version. Sorry. Okay. So now we are supporting different uh, type of browsers. So you you just need to. In the case of the Microsoft One, the Internet Explorer, you need to, to install the ActiveX plugin. In the case of the uh, Chrome or Firefox, you need to install the Flash Player. For sure, most of you know that the Flash, the Flash Player, will be not supported for the end of the, this year. But we are we are moving to the new web server based on HTML5 in order to be agnostic uh, from any browser, okay? So let's move to the presentation. So here in the LPR, you can see a real-time demonstration, okay? So we install a camera in a city in Spain. Okay, so right now you can, you can see, oh, let me, okay. So how the the camera is, is is working, catching the catching the devices. So let me wait to get a better image. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me do something. Okay, LPR, LPR. So let me restart this. Okay, it's okay. So I will maybe I want to. So you can see here the the, the last page.
ओके सो आई वन आई वॉज आई वेटिंग फॉर अ कार मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस लाइन Let me do something so you can see here the B and W, and also the the four, the Volkswagen. Okay. Okay. So in in this feature, you can you can see the the main menu is the the live view of the LPR. So maybe for you it's very strange to see this because uh, the camera, the LPR is working in the four four frames per, per second. It's no. It, to be honest, it's not real real time like the one you can see in the live, but it's enough for the LPR solution. Okay, for the LPR, you don't need to to process real time um, image. So uh, four to five uh, frames per second is more than enough to catch all the plays that the that the the camera can catch for sure. You need to respect the the distance from the camera to the to the car up to around. 15 20 meters and the other the other thing you need to, to respect is the the speed of the car around 20 uh, kilometers per, per hour but you can see in, in this in this demonstration the cars uh, is going uh, so fast but the recommendation is to use up to 20 kilometers per hour okay Okay, so in the back of this, so this is the the show place. So you just to show the plates are catching. Okay, the show status means means in blue. This is the last uh, the last uh, car plate was catched. So you can see the country Spain, the number of the on the of the the plates for our our format is for. Uh, four numbers uh, following by three letters. So 80% is the accuracy of the, of the license plate catch it. And this is the size, the size of the, uh, the, the license plate catch. It. Okay, and this is the timestamp. So, uh, so the lanes, I need to configure a lanes before in order to use this calibration pattern. Okay, this is a, uh, this is the feature that I'll allow or help the help the the installer to be sure that the the size of the camera is correct. Okay, so this will be also explained in the in the next season. And, and here you can find all the historical license plate. Okay, if you want to check, for example, the, the license plate sees one for example you can search okay so you can imagine you want to you want to look for you want to share a license plate starting by 614 because you don't know the whole number so here you can use this and the algorithm is returning all the license plate catching starting with this okay and a and a picture of this license plate and for sure the confidence this is okay more than 95 percent of you know of this the country license place and the time stamp. okay so this is like will be like a database so you can you can say you can search by date or by uh, license plate number so the other important thing after this because this this will be like a viewer so this is this this one the list so on the next season i will spend most of the time in this in this sub menu because i think it's, it's the core of this application on this, by default, you can see uh, we implement all plates. All places means uh, on this, the algorithm is uh, catching all the plates with uh, all the plates, okay? 
no materials are included or not in the in any uh, list. Not in list. This is uh, for returning every license plate that it doesn't belong, doesn't belong, don't belong to any uh, white like this. Also, you can create a new one, new one, new one list, okay, and save. Save, sorry. So, new one list will be number three. So, to be very fast on this, because as I told you, this is the, the core of this, so I want to show you in detail in this website. For example, if I want to the black to the white list. What we can do in the black in the white list? So I can register manually a place, for example, which on H my car insert a date, a valid date from uh, today. Okay, this is done. And you can select a I know validity or by default save. So you don't need to enter if you don't want. Okay. So imagine if I catch uh, the algorithm catch my plate. Okay. What what can what can I do with this? So we can do several uh, actions. Okay. So this is the way to insert. Uh, manually a uh, license plate, but or you can also um, use um, sorry you can you can use automatic way to import the license plate. Okay, selecting if you have, for example, a database of um, license plate, you can use the way to import by a CSV file. Okay, then you can see here all the plates. And also, we, you can implement automatic importation based on FTP server, FTP server. So this is a, what I want to explain to you on Western. So related to the actions, we can play on this. There are so many actions. So for example, if I want to, to add one action to this list, for example, so you can see how many so how many are available. So this is this is one will be to open a barrier, EO, example, open barrier. Okay. Then you can define this, you can enable or disable and save. But you also can add more actions to the list. For example, at the same time uh, that the algorithm opened the variable after catching the plate, I also can use, uh, for example, to send an email. Okay, because I can, I can use. Uh, imagine I have a server for uh, emails, so send, send an email. Okay, so after that, what, what is happening? So when the, once the algorithm cuts this display, then the algorithm open a barrier and send an email. Okay. Um, and server socket or FTP or HTTP, I will will be explained on the next season because it's based on integration. But for sure, if someone, one of the partners, has a system, a web-based solution, uh, has an, an access control solution, and they want to integrate our camera, so the next season on Wednesday will be fantastic for them because I will explain how to how to implement the connection, how to implement an STP, a STP server, or in case the customer has a solution based on uh, .NET, based on PC, so I will show them how to connect by socket server but at the end the idea is the same so if i select an stpt server so when the the one the the algorithm catch this display this plate will be sent by stpt http server uh, 
by a file. JSON, for example, let me show you very fast this. Okay. So to configure all of this, for example, IO port. So here, not in Monday. It's only on well on Tuesday. Okay. Safe as Okay. This is the output one. Uh, the output zero is our output, and this is the time that the relay the relay will be open. Okay. But at that time, okay, the barrier will be open. If I want to to set the HTTP server, okay. So imagine in the same time, there's only no in all the the time. Example. Okay, on this, on this, on this, on this. So what's the once the 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 last display will be catches on, on that time, I can send a JSON file or XML, XML file by HTTP server. So I need to configure this information. This uh, real time demonstration will be uh, held on the on the Wednesday, Wednesday, and all the information you can send a post, a post message with, with the image, a standard post, a custom post, and get. Okay, so the idea of this is uh, we can send this license plate, all this information, even, even the image, by HTTP server for third party application. Okay. And that's it. So, and related to the another question we 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 have, okay. So, how to import? For example, imagine I want to import, uh, okay. If I uh, imagine you have a database of license plates, how to import those license plates? So one is manually, the other one is uh, selecting a, a CSV file or XML file, okay? And the other one is auto connect to the file to the FTP server, okay? Because our master camera has an FTP FTP server embedded. Okay, let's say connect to FTP. So on this, you can see the connection for third party FTP. Okay, and on this FTP, you need to drop an XML file, CSV file with the license plate. Uh, in in the format in a format, okay. For example, like this. Okay. This is the format on this, on this is the format or CSV. Okay, so you create this kind of uh, the file with all the information. This is the license plate. The information, okay. Then automatically, the the camera co will connect to the FTP in order to retrieve all the information every five minutes. So this is the way to auto synchronize uh, the license plate uh, list from third party uh, database, okay. And Related to this, how to connect the, the third party cam the slave camera, synchro camera. Okay, so synchro camera is the way to connect to the other camera in the installation. Okay, A slave camera. Okay, so here you can find the IP 
and the user and password of the slave camera. Okay, so slave camera, to be honest, slave camera point to the master camera in order to synchronize all the license, all, all the license, yes. So here in the setup, you can select your region, okay? As you can see, as you can see before in the, sorry, let me close this. As you can see before, uh, in the presentation, we support so many countries, but all the countries are, um, let's say, uh, added or or split in, the, in in areas. For example, in Europe, okay, in Europe we support so many countries. You can see here, okay. You need you just need to select the ones you want, okay. And then to be triggered, it means you need auxiliary input to be to enable the that the camera read the plate. Free flow mode, the camera is reading every time, and motion detection is use uh, its own motion sensor. Okay, the camera. Resolution, you want to save the, the picture, catch it. So I recommend this one. To show the row, you see, okay? So you reduce the reading area in the screen, okay? It's very popular. You can you can create two different lanes, okay, lane one and lane two. It means when the catch is uh, when the car is in the is moving from the lane one, so there will be a label like lane one, and the other one is uh, when the catch is, is moving from this on this uh, lane two. Once the camera will be catches, we will have a label like lane two. Okay. The evidence camera, okay. Evidence camera, I can add one. Evidence, evidence one, save. Okay, I need to configure the camera so you can see. Okay, HTTP connection, authentication, and URL. Okay. This is based on uh, RSTP, okay? So you can connect. So you can connect. Okay. You can connect uh, a evidence camera. So after this, evidence camera uh, will uh, save. Okay will provide GPS stream with the, with the picture. And that's it, because this information will be explained in a detail in the integration on, on the installer information, because this is based on the algorithm, okay? This is to store in the SD card, okay? The, the format and the size of the of the picture, the put options, okay. In order to delete a picture in the in the database store, and that's it. Audit, okay, is a menu in order to check the actions provided. For example, exploration, importation, actions to play in this, okay, on the mobile. So I think for this season, uh, the scope of this season will be to that you know that how the solution works and to be able to uh, to make and to deal with the basic installation. So this is this is the scope of this of this webinar. So for sure uh, on Wednesday we will see more detailed uh, feature that. Uh, you can handle with this solution. So the idea in the next Wednesday is the how third party, how interactor can deal with the solution because uh, as I told you, this solution is for sure fantastic for a standalone solution, but third parties can join, 
an integrated solution very easily. Okay. So let's move to the uh, okay. Let's move to the questions. Okay. Can you explain about the milestone? Hey, is the camera com some for Galbo? Okay. Hey, is the camera compatible with third party machine? So yes, it's compatible with third party machines. Uh, but for sure, depending on what do you mean for third party machine, is you are you want uh, is you mean third party software? The question is yes, but you need to integrate. This is uh, my recommendation is that you join to the uh, season on Wednesday in order to to see how it's possible to make this integration. Okay, Nale Juan. Uh, can you explain more about the milestone? Okay, so related to the milestone is a very simple integration. Okay, I, I need I need you to provide what is the type of the milestone that support this. But uh, the idea is, uh, imagine you have a BMS uh, milestone solution already running in the customer application, catching uh, many information with the CCTV camera. So all the actions we support. Uh, are sending almost the same, send back to the third party uh, the, L the LPR uh, license plate. In the case of the Wigan, so I want to explain you in deeply um, on next Wednesday. So the Wigan format, so because the camera doesn't support uh, Wigan port, Wigan is, is an IP Wigan. So you need, you need to to connect a third party controller, microcontroller like uh, Arduino uh, in order to, to code from IP WIGAN to, to physical WIGAN. Okay, then you can connect to a third party controller, for example. So this information will be provided. Okay, so if there, is, there is no more question, there is no any question more. Why the picture is uh, gray and not color? Okay, good answer, good, good question. Because LPR algorithm is, is based on black and white format. Okay, so to, to see how the color is the, the image, you just need to move to the to the live view of the camera. Okay, then you can see uh, how is the real color of the image. But the LPR solution is based on black and white. It's, it's always the same. It's based on the algorithm. This is the, the best way to detect the contrast of the license plate is white and black and white. Uh, Aline T, uh, can you tell us more about the Google integration? Yes, absolutely. I want to explain more on the on the Wednesday's uh, Wednesday season. Okay, and the season. I will definitely uh, share with you all the information related to Wigan format integration and HTTP, uh, HTTP server and socket server. Okay. Uh, we will there any problem with the LPR reading when it's raining? Uh, the question is uh, no. There is no any problem with the with the reading in the, in the raining. Okay. There is. There is no any affectation for the for the rain for the water in the camera, so there is no. Problem. In fact, the camera is IP67, so there is no problem at all. What about mm, during the night? Does it require Wi-Fi enough? They okay. LNT. Uh, what about during night? Does it require white uh, light or air? Okay, the camera has inside. A very powerful AR sensor. Okay, so the AR of the camera is enough to catch the camera up to 10, 15 meters. So there is no problem at all. The powerful the, the camera is building with a L AR powerful enough. So that is affected by direct sun. <clears throat> uh, the the reply is yes. All the system CCTV cameras are affected by direct uh, sun. So uh, this is why when you this is very important when you install the camera outside, you need to be sure that the, you can cover, you can protect 
the, the screen or the lens of the camera in order to not be affected directly for the sun, okay? Okay, until now, I think all the answers are already replied. Okay, we can, okay. Mm, okay, a question from Newle Ham. Okay, what if camera cannot recognize the plate number for its hat's 98% accuracy? No, uh, okay. What if the camera cannot number? Okay, so <clears throat> this is our, okay, this is our rate, 19% of accuracy, 98%. Okay, so for sure, we'll, uh, this is because in many countries there are different customized license plates. So customized, customized license plates like your own number, sorry, or like your own, your own name is not possible to be read for the algorithm because we are based on the standards of the country, of the format. Okay, this is why sometimes many countries has a two percent of uh, no reading cameras, or maybe five percent. Okay, and the other 80, the other percentage that we can read cameras is the license plates because in many countries um, the camera, the license plate are too old with many, many, many failures in the, in the license plate. Uh, so, Patrick, no, you're right. sorry, I didn't hear my answer. Please, about the software, do it to the internet with your site. Kindly, can you? Uh, sorry, sorry, Patrick, could you please, could you please drop again your question? Ah, okay. So maybe your question is related to the software. So it's related to the software. So the question is, uh, you don't need any other software because the software is inside the camera. Okay. So once you get the proper camera or the LPR camera on the reference, CKT code reference, uh, the software is inside the camera. So you don't need to to apply for third party software LPR because the software, the software is inside. It's embedded in the uh, uh, camera. Was server camera. David K uh, is uh, are integrable with face pan temperature as control product. Okay, so the question on this uh, is yes. Uh, once we finish the integration with Siki Biosecurity, okay, our idea is uh, you can combine the facial recognition device or pan all PAN devices, all the ones supported by CK Biosecurity with the LPR, okay? On this, you can run, um, for example, double verification mode. One verification is the LPR and the other one is will be uh, the ones from the CK device, uh, PAL or uh, FACE. So right now, the camera, no, but when we finish the integration with CK Biosecurity along this summer, the, the, the answer is yes. This is for David. So for Eric Benny, is LPR license based on the time lane or the number of planes to be checked? <clears throat> so Eric, I don't know what you mean with the time length on the number of the of the plane to be checked. Uh, does it has anti passback? So it's, it itself, uh, the LPR camera doesn't have doesn't passback, okay? But once we finish the integration with uh, Secret Biosecurity, the answer is yes, because one camera uh, will be set like um, like a door. So, so on the on the server side, on the software side, you can implement the anti-passback solution. Okay. So all the logic you are you are um, requesting right now, right now, like anti-passback and Facial recognition combination, pal recognition combination. Uh, the answer is uh, yes, but one we fit, we launch the integration with CQ Biosecurity. So Eric Benny, I mean, uh, when I activate the LPR license, it is depending on the time and speed of limitation. No, 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 no. So you, you don't need Eric. Eric, you don't need to activate the license 
the license of the LPR, the LPR is already active once you receive the camera. So it's a one time forever license. So, and you don't have any limitations. Okay. There is no limitation on the license, no time and no number of cars. Okay. So you don't, you don't need to be worried about it. Okay. So my idea is to finish this. Okay. Uh, can I set car with a uh, lima? Yes. Absolutely, yes, is the idea. So to do this, okay, you can if you want if you want that just only one car uh, has a limit le, 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 limited date, okay, you can create a specific list with this car. For example, a guide list. On this list, you can add the car you want to limit the time. So you can you can set the valid time from that time to that time uh, that uh, this car open the barrier for example so this is very easy to do <clears throat> in fact you can you can select the countries the, sorry the days and the hours available for this car okay this is a very nice question from guy can I limit the inside cars, for example, maximum five uh, cars inside the parking? Uh, the answer of this, because this is this is let's say like a business uh, business logic. So the the answer is yes when we release the integration with CK Biosecurity, because at that moment this solution will be linked with the parking model of CK Biosecurity. So then you can control this. This type of things is how many people, uh, how, sorry, how many cars will be uh, available to enter in this parking. Uh, yes. <clears throat> so, any more with Patrick? You know, uh, Patrick, uh, do the software has a trial uh, time version activate the to use? Do your camera support third party machine? Okay. Uh, you don't need to uh, uh, to get a trial camera, okay? Because I can share with you the, my online camera to test the software. Okay, this is this is the URL uh, and the password will be provide the credentials. Okay, and the second, the, the cam do do your camera support the third party machine ahead barriers from other models. Uh, yes, absolutely. Because our my camera, the, our camera is triggering. Okay, is triggering a, a relay. When the once once the license plate was catches, it catches. The camera is triggering a relay. Then you can connect whatever uh, hardware you want. So David Key, how switchable is for pay to park model uh, token? Car, QR, mobility wallet. Any information advice on this? Uh, okay. Is switch up. Okay. For this, uh, is for this question, the, the answer is, uh, what do you want to do? Because for sure, we, we the idea for this uh, will be to be integrated in third-party solution. Imagine you have a platform for online or mobility or mobility payment okay you can integrate the camera uh, into your solution then we will have you will have the you can control the camera the the, the license plate and also you can implement your own logic related to the qr or the mobile payment or wallet so the answer the, the answer is yes but will be carried out or will be developed by third party solution. Okay. So five minutes more for the okay. Uh, a scan from a scan. Is this your plan to recognize also the model is the car of the color? Uh, in fact, the algorithm also is able to recognize the this information. But to be honest, 
because this is a solution based on a, a standalone mode embedded in the camera we want we want uh, to be affected the performance of the recognition for this because you need you need to have a very well, a very powerful solution okay to catch the the color of the model of the car so right now we only the uh, returning the license plate model but maybe in the future if we can deploy the solution in a let's say more powerful CCTV camera for sure we will implement this information okay right now it's not supported because this uh, we want we don't want to sacrifice the performance of the camera including more requirements yes we will share the presentation patrick no worries so moses hella distance from the car speed this distance around 20 meters up to 20 and the car is uh, more or less the same up to 20 kilometers per hour okay and night mode supported yes the camera support night mode and also uh, ar detection so there is no problem at all uh, can we have the webinar training video yes mark uh, yes our marketing team will provide this once we uh, upload to to any to any server okay okay guys so if there is no more question let me close this webinar so uh, how is the how is the power requirements uh, the power requirements what do you mean moses because the camera is a 12 volts camera so you don't need uh, anything else because you are connected to the web server of the camera so you don't need to deploy any software this is the idea So if there is no more question, let me close the, the webinar. So I invite you for the for the tech, more technical yes, the product commercial available, Moses, yes. Please contact with your um Sikiteco contact in your country. So they could the, uh, he or her can inform you how to get it. How to get it, yes. Uh, so okay what is the specification of the camera uh, the camera so maybe you lose this but there, there are two models CK cameras so the specification is like this because the software is embedded in the camera you you cannot deploy the software in third-party cameras okay so you need to acquire you need to buy uh, CK cameras so the model will be provided with the your uh, your commercial representative in your country okay so so hope you can enjoy this first uh, season so i hope it will be helpful in order to realize uh, what are uh, what ck is doing for the lpr and solution plug and play so i invite you to join to the webinar of the third party integration of digly integration for the next wednesday okay thank you so much for your time uh, can we have mini camera for security car mark no 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 the camera there are two models that support this lpr solution so if you want to install one of these in the camera because there are there is a model a dom model you can do it okay or bullet one but i think the bullet is too big for this it's too much it's too big. okay thank you so much for 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 your time okay so i hope to see you all of you on the season on wednesday thank you so much for your time we're in touch